Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is David. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we'll be working on a Knitmaster 323. Um, this uh, machine is one machine up uh, from the 321. And um, when I got this machine, it was in a, a little bit of a state. So I finally fixed it and repaired it and cleaned it up. And uh, it seems to work uh, really well. So I thought, well, let's do a video on this machine and see what it's all about. The other thing I wanted to do with this machine is just to have a look uh, at the differences between the, the, the two machines, uh, between the uh, 323 and the 321. And I just wanted to see if there were any major differences. This is a really great machine and um, I'm really going to uh, show you how this works and do a basic cast on it. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, set up the machine and uh, here I am just unclipping it. I just wanted to show you where the clips are. They're actually uh, to the back of the machine and so you just unclip them and uh, you just uh, check that they both um, unclipped uh, uh, neatly. Uh, uh, then what you do is you lie the machine flat and uh, here I am lying it flat but I kind of put it really close to the edge because you've got to put the clamps on and uh, this is what will uh, make it work. Here I'm taking off the lid and uh, we can finally see what the machine looks like. I really like the look of this machine. It's, it has a kind of vintage uh, cream look to it. Uh, with silver colors and uh, kind of uh, beige colors and um, as you can see uh, it's it's really uh, uh, quite basic in so many ways it's also a punch card machine and uh, this punch card machine I haven't tried yet so I will be trying that uh, uh, soon um, here I am putting in the clamps uh, I put the the machine like I say quite close to the edge and uh, you just adjust your clamps and then you just uh, insert them in and then, then you push them back so the clamps, uh, uh, the back of it lies very flat against the edge of the table and uh, then you just tie it and uh, uh, make it uh, 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 um, tight enough so that the machine doesn't move. Uh, what you do next here is you just take off the the carriage uh, clamp holder uh, off. Uh, this is just to uh, make sure that the carriage doesn't move when you pack it. And uh, what you do now is you take the sinker plate and you insert it onto the machine. And uh, you basically just uh, make sure that it fits. And it's got two little um, kind of grey gauges on either side where you can see where the clamp must be. Uh, where the sinker plate must be, I should say, and uh, you just uh, check it that it corresponds with uh, uh, on both sides, and then uh, you just tighten it uh, uh, so that you can use it. Here I am used, uh, doing the tension unit. Uh, the tension unit is very much the same as the Knitmaster 321. No, no difference from that. Uh, this tension unit needed a little bit of a repair. Uh, there was something wrong with the spring on the inside, so I, I fixed that. Uh, here is the, the tension arm, uh, and there's the thread guide. Um, it's very much the same as uh, the 321. In fact, you could probably use the, the tension unit from the 321 and the 323 in the same way. Um, here I am sh just showing you how the, 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 the tension uh, unit slips onto the, the rod and uh so that's that's just how that works and it's just uh very simple to do um uh when when you uh when you do your tension unit just make sure that it slots in correctly 
um, don't force anything just check it it does slot in quite easily and uh, so you don't have to work too hard anyway here is the the final part of of the uh, machine that I've done on the setup and uh, what we're going to do next is do the cast on and just to show you how this uh, uh, works here I am I'm just selecting some random needles I'm not going to do a lot of needles I'm just going to do enough for a cast on just to see how this works um, the cast on is quite simple um, so I'm just doing a an e-wrap cast on what I call e-wrap cast on and this uh, cast on is what I use most of the time um, I did find that the machine was quite smooth uh, in in how it uh, um, how the needles moved it was actually quite smooth I didn't have to uh, work a lot on when, when when I was cleaning the machine on actually uh, uh, cleaning um, when I cleaned the machine I found that the needles moved really easily so I was kind of uh, pleased with that sometimes the machine needles don't move so easily and so you've got to actually clean the needles and clean on the top uh, section of the machine uh, to make it work here I am, I'm just uh, inserting uh, the yarn into the sinker plate and so that we can um, actually start the cast on. Um, I'm going to use tension 7 dial on here because I found that that seems to be a much better uh, knit stitch, uh, uh, tension stitch I should say, uh, with this uh, machine. And uh, here you just put it on plain knitting which is zero and uh you know then you do your first cast on here i am doing the first cast on it was a little bit uh, uh stiff initially because i don't think this machine had been used a long time uh so here i am i'm doing the first cast on uh for this machine so it just caught very slightly on the edge of one of the pegs so i had to undo that uh for the cast on uh, but I think with a little bit of practice machine will be much easier to work with um, as as you work along with it. Um, this uh, um, uh, cast on, uh, the E-Wrap cast on, um, was just uh, a little bit difficult in the beginning. Uh, I'd, like I say, it just uh, took a while. I, I don't think it had been used for a long time. Um, here I am finally knitting and it, uh, it worked uh, really, really, really well uh, on, on the knitting. Once the knitting started, it was moved very, very, um, very well and uh, it was so easy uh, to work with. As you can see here, I'm working with it really easily. I had, once it got going, it was just a nice knit. Uh, uh, way of knitting. Uh, here is the, the knit as you can see um, it's on tension 7. It seems to work better with this yarn on tension 7. Um, here, here is a close-up of, of the yarn as I've worked with it and it seemed to look really good. Uh, here is the, the final aspect of the yarn. Um, as you can see it's very even uh, it's very neat and tidy. I didn't see any drop stitches and I didn't see any issues with the yarn. So as you can see, this came out really well. Um, I really love this machine. It really is nice. Just doing this test sample shows that it has potential to work really well. And so I'm going to now uh, try this machine for a number of episodes to see how it works. Mm -hmm. Well, there's nothing much I can show more of this machine. Uh, this is the end of the video. Um, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, please leave a comment and I will have a look at it and uh, see if I can show you something about what this machine can do. So like I say, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next project soon.